Hello everybody, welcome back to the tips and tricks videos. In this last tutorial before Christmas we would like to show you the edit function and of course the update functions. Function Both functions can be used to do some changes on your queue, so really important functions. Uh, the first one is the, let's say, fast um, type of changing something in your queue. Um, for example, you can see here my queue list. I've prepared a queue list with some um, color changes in it. And uh, in this first queue, I would like to have these both fixtures here in the center in a different color. So this queue is at the moment on the output on stage. And I can select my fixtures now here and uh, open the color picker. And for example, choose another color, these nice blue, something like that. And now you can see that the update button is uh, highlighted. So there is something to update. When you have a look into the fixture sheet um, and move a little bit to the right side, then you see that the color values are active for these both fixtures. So red letters with um, red color behind it. And this means um, this value is storable at the moment. Also over here you have this um, small red sign to show you there is something which you can store. And store in this case is done by update. So you can say update please or update on any button of each executor over here which you want to update. In my case I would like to update queue number one from the master queue list and that's why I can say update please. I say update, update is in the command line, now I say please and the console comes up with a question. I should choose the update queue method. This means tracking or yeah, not not tracking. You only a normal means um, your values will be tracked through the queue list until um, something changes. And queue only means uh, that your values will be restored in the next queue. So my second queue is still green for this fixtures. And I would like to have it green in queue number two. So I choose queue only and press the OK button. And now you see. The values for color are gone, they are changed. So it's a live update, so to say. Um, so this is the first, first method of doing an update or changing something on a queue. The second one is a little bit more, um, yeah, I would not say complex, but a little bit more precise. Off please, which switches off my, my queue list and um, all right, I need the dimmer, so I have to start this again. So this is my queue, um, which is stored here on executor number one. Switch it off again. And I would like to change something here on this executor. Um, for example, the color. So I can say edit queue one, executor 1.1. 1 .1. 1.1 means page number one, executor number one, and Q1. Um, with please, I can execute this command, and you can see in the fixture sheet that the values which are stored in here in this executor are now active in the programmer. So there is color in it and a different position. And now you can do your changes. We want to change the color to, let's say, yellow for example and now it's the same way as you know it from the first uh, example update and now you have to say or you have to press one of the executor buttons over here because you want to update this queue not one of the master queue list update this one two times clear and when i bring up the executor again my color has changed it's now yellow so also very, very easy to handle, but a little bit more precise. So edit queue, the number and the executor, and then you can load your uh, content from this executor in the pro into the programmer and change it. And uh, with update, you can bring it back into your queue. Um, 
this one makes also sense when you work together with the blind function. So you can activate blind and then say edit q1 executor 1.1 please and now you can see on the output nothing will change so it's um, it's hidden on the output but you can see it in your fixture sheet and you can change it for example back to to green then you can say update this one two times clear then you deactivate blind and when you bring up the um, executor again it's green so you can hide also the changes which you are doing from uh, the output. Yeah, that's basically all. I wish you all a lovely Christmas um, and a good start into the next year. Um, we will be back soon, maybe next year, with uh, the next Tips and Tricks video. Take care. Bye-bye.